Okay. Now, this positive one should be covered. I wish I had some red, but I don't. So I've been kind of using this uh, green color here. Camera stopping again, so I don't know what you missed there. I'm just continuing to solder in. The Still don't like that connection up there. I'll do it again. Hmm. Okay. So that that's one capacitor segment done. Okay. And to do the next one, we're going to do it on top, the radio. Boy, I tell you, I had that sitting right on that upper structure there, just... Whammo. I'm just remounting a string here that's come off. It's a pulley. There we go. Okay, now back to the capacitor here. So here's the original one. And I think I'm going to change your perspective here. Okay, I need to see this, yeah, and back down in here, which is hidden behind that tube. So this is a, a valid connection point. So I'm going to connect here, and here I'll keep me away from the uh, tube, and Get it up on top there. So that's a 22. That's a, that's a 47 microfarad, 450 volt capacitor. That's what we're looking for.
Yes, it can. Leads are a little shorter on this capacitor. Whoops, a lot shorter. Okay. Let's see if we can connect this positive one first. Big day here in my house. My son's heading out for an important job interview in just half an hour or so. So we're already hoping. <laughs> a little awkward here. I got it though. Perfect. Let's. short. Oh, man, I gotta kind of pull on it. Just barely long enough. Isn't that interesting? A whole new testing technique. I'll show you from over here. Made an invention. So how do you work up here? Well, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, so you're sitting inside the cabinet looking out from inside the cabinet and I'm just going to take my soldering iron which is on and hold it near the output transformer and now it's not going to do it Adjusting the temperature setting on my uh, 
soldering iron in it. I'm sure it's a varactor or something like that. And uh, when it's in the middle, it produces uh, enough uh, harmonics, and, and that it's actually transmitting a little bit of uh, signal right into the coil, and you can hear it coming out of the speaker. Because when I was soldering that, I became aware that the speaker was coming in. For a moment, I thought, oh my god, this thing's on. <laughs> No, it's not on. Wow, did I really get that on there? No. I did not. That's better. Okay, so that's on. So next time we operate the set, there'll be no hum. Okay, let's see if we can figure out where that squeaking's coming from. No doubt about it, it's coming from the 